Welcome to your 45 minute body conditioning workout brought to you from the exercise lounge in Bambrook. We've got a warm up, we've got a cool down, and then in between there are three blocks. Each block has six exercises. Each, each sex exercise will be completed for 45 seconds and there'll be short little rests in between. The rests are really just to allow for transitions between the different positions, but there are longer breaks factored at the end of each block, which is great if you need a drink, if you need to wipe your face or shake out your limbs. So we'll make a start with our warm up and we are going to be marching on the spot. Nice and simple. Just bring your feet underneath your hips and march. Swinging your arms as well so we can start to warm up the upper body. Positioning wise, the shoulders are above the hips and you're bringing your knees in front of you as you march. And then as your legs straighten, you'll be squeezing your quads, you'll be squeezing your glutes. Zip up front to back, squeezing nice and firmly through the middle. And then like I said, swinging your arms as well so your arms are marching by your side, starting to warm up the shoulders. Make the arms a little bit bigger, you even shrug the shoulders in between. Good, nice. And then we're going to start to march wide, narrow. Wide and narrow. So the body will rock a little bit side to side, that's cool. Perfect. And again, wide, narrow, wide and narrow. One more, and then we come back to our narrow march. Now, remember which leg you stepped out with first. So for me, it was a right leg stepped out. I'm going to do the opposite. Because we work a little bit harder when we take our non-dominant leg. It's going to feel a little clunky, but follow through with it. Wide, narrow, <laughs> wide, and narrow. Ten more seconds here, and then you can stay with this wide, narrow march, or come back to your normal march, or we're going to add a little jump. So, jump wide, walk it narrow. Jump it wide, walk it narrow. So it's not a big jump. You're not leaving the ground for any extended time. Land softly, come back in wide, narrow. And again, remember which leg you're walking in with first. So naturally, I'm picking the right leg to come in. We're going to come back to march through the middle. And then when you jump wide next time, walk in with your opposite leg. So wide, opposite leg, wide, opposite leg. Yeah, we get the brain thinking as well. Perfect, well done. Wide, land softly. Oh, good. I nearly swapped the legs around. Also pilot. <laughs> All right, one more. Come back to your march. Now, we're gonna step and tap to the side. Nice and loose, shake off the legs, soft with the knees, step, tap, step, tap. Now through this, as we do each week, remember you work at your own pace. So if you need to go quicker, go quicker. If you have to go slower, slow it down too. Also rest and pause when you need to. Now as we start to step, I'd love you to think about tapping the floor. So we're gonna reach down, step and tap. It doesn't matter if you don't entirely touch the floor, reaching down to knee height, but what we're doing is encouraging a bend at the hips. And as you bend the hips, you'll be working your glutes. So, testing my coordination, turning 90 degrees, reaching down towards the floor, step and tap, step and tap. Beautiful. Two more on each side, bringing the chest down, hips back, and then come back to your march. Now march that your hip distance apart or a little wider, Bring your feet to the ground, sit back into an imaginary chair, stand. Squat, stand. Squat, and stand. From the side, hips back, the chest is up. So I'm not leaning forwards over my knees, I'm staying upright with the chest. Good, two more like this, and then we're gonna have one squat in the middle, and then step back for a lunge. So, lunge on one leg, come back, squat through the middle, lunge on the other leg, come back, Squat through the middle, perfect. One lunge, one squat, one lunge, one squat, perfect. Two more on each side, step back, coming up. So both knees bend, one is down, one is forward. One more each side, bend, forward and down. Last one, bend, forward and down, perfect. Come up right for me. We're gonna reach down towards the knees, upright to the knees, upright. So imagine you're sliding between two sheets of glass. So there's a forward, and backward movement is minimized. Side to side movement is where you're sliding. Warming up the muscles for the waist because we're going to use them in a bit. Side to side, good. One more each side, tap to the knees, up, tap to the knees and up, perfect. Now we're going to rotate through the shoulders, then start to rotate through the hips, looking over your shoulders as we warm up the muscles in a rotation aspect. Try and keep the hips reasonably firm if you can. Use the muscles through the legs, through the side of the hips, inner thighs, so you've got strength traveling from your feet upwards. Perfect, one more each side, rotate, rotate, rotate. 
Come back to your march. March a little higher, picking up the knees even further. Good, nice. 10 seconds to go. So, our first exercise for 45 seconds, we're gonna come to a right leg lunge. We're then gonna squat through the middle, rotate left leg lunge, squat through the middle. So, for your right leg lunge, if I turn sideways, have a reasonable distance between your feet. Lunge through the right, rotate wide squat, rotate lunge on the left. 45 seconds of these. So you got a little pivot through the feet, up, feet are forward, rotate, lunge, rotate, pivot. Good, nice. So sway your hips and shoulders when you come for your lunge, send the hips back in your squat, pivot, lunge. Lovely. Your speed, your pace, lunge and squat, squat and lunge. Excellent. We are halfway, so now 20 seconds to go. One lunge, one squat. Excellent. The chest stays up, shoulders moving up and down. 10 seconds to go, up and back. Yes, awesome, nice, well done. Five seconds, then we're gonna to come to our mat for crunches. Three, two, one. To your mat, knees bent, fingertips to your temples, and as you breathe out, you're gonna look up towards your knees, curling head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Ready, let's go. To the knees, lower down, to the knees, and lower. So keep an equal distance between chin and chest. Look between your knees. Squeeze the front of the ribs to the front of your hips. Pause, micro pause at the top. Lower, lift, and lower. Try and keep the elbows wide if you can, so that they're not pulling in towards the knees. You're adding a little bit of extra weight further away from your center of gravity to make it a bit more challenging. Good, well done, 15 seconds to go. Look to the knees, lower down lightly. Look and lower, 10 seconds, squeeze, come back down, squeeze, nearly there, five, four, three, two, and one, awesome, well done. All right, for our next exercise, we are into a forearm plank, so stay on your mat, make a triangle with your elbows and your forearms, extend your legs, and we're simply gonna hold, hips in line with your shoulders, try and think about drawing your tailbone down towards your heels, if you need to at any point, drop to the knees, shake off the shoulders and come back. With your hands, you're making a firm fist, elbows are pushing into the mat, try and lift through the shoulders and the chest so you're not sinking down between your arms. Imagine you're pulling your chest away from the ground. Halfway, squeeze your inner thighs together, engage your glutes. Good, less than 20 seconds now. Feeling strength in the legs, strength in the core and strength in the upper body. All round exercise, well done, 10 seconds to go, you've got this. Keep breathing, extend the back of the neck, looking down between your thumbs. We've got three, two, and one. Well done, drop down, shake it off. If you need to roll out the arms, you can. So, next up, we stand. We've got jump jacks. If you can, both arms and legs together. If you need to, single arm and leg. 45 seconds. So, out and in, both arms, both legs, or single time. Yes, that's it, find your version. 35 seconds to go. So that's 10 seconds done already. Good, nice. Our next exercise is one of my favorites, working the muscles in the booty. First off though, we're halfway. So just over 20 seconds to go. Land lightly on your toes, using your arms, reaching overhead as you hop out. Good, 15 seconds. Land lightly, drop into the heels, soften the knees. Less than 10, you've got this. Perfect, perfect, five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on to all fours. So, shoulders over your wrists. Take your right leg, bend it. And we're gonna kick up, bring the knee, brush the ground, and kick all the way up. Let's go. See if you can let this movement come from your leg, not your lower back. So draw your belly button in and up. Lower back stays firm. Big kick of the heel to the ceiling. Knee brushes the ground. Good, one more. Now I want you to stay in the top range and pulse. So knee above and in line with the hip as your heel pushes towards the ceiling. Good, nice. We've got five more seconds. Now I want you to lift to your highest point and hold. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Good, good, good. Try and square the hips. Turn your big toe in towards your midline. Knee close to the middle. Zip up through the middle. Five, four, three, two, one, awesome, push back, quick child's pose. Take the pressure off your wrists, then we'll come back 
and we'll do the same with the left leg. So, flex your toes, bending your left knee, get ready to kick all the way up and all the way down. First 15 seconds, whole range. So really firm up through the middle, try not to let your lower back sink as your leg lifts higher, just to increase your range. So the lower back stays firm. Right, top half pulse, so just above and below the hip as you kick your heel higher. Now's the time to really focus on the lower back. So if you find that your shoulders and your back are moving, zip it up tighter and make it a smaller movement. Good. And in three seconds, you're gonna lift and hold. Two, one, up, squeeze. Turn your big toe in towards your midline. Knee close to the middle. Lift and hold. Yes, yes, yes. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Kick back, push away. 30 seconds extra recovery. Now's the time when you grab yourself a sip of water, wipe your face. Try and keep moving if you can, keeping the limbs just active, even if it's just a gentle pace around and march. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that block of exercises. One more round. Starting with the right leg lunge, wide squat in the middle, left leg lunge, wide squat. So when the bell goes, we've got 10 seconds to get ready. That's the bell. So, if I face sideways on, I'll squat towards you. Step your right leg forward, your left leg back. Get ready to bend both, send the shoulders up and down. So lunge, wide squat, pivot, lunge, wide squat. Good, hands wherever they need to be to help you with balance. Whether that's in front of the chest, behind the head, on the hips, your choice. Good, pivot, one lunge, one squat, one lunge, nice. In your squat, send your knees wide, good. Come down low, wide, down low. You're over halfway. Crunches next, coming onto your mat, using your abdominal muscles, good. 10 seconds, one lunge, one squat, one lunge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, to your mat please. Lie on your back, bend your knees, Fingertips to temples, take a big breath, <sighs> lower back onto the ground, and crunch. Lift to the knees, and lower. Squeeze. So as you think about the lower front ribs, squeezing towards the front of the hips, draw the belly button in, and press your lower back firmly against your mat. You'll feel head, neck, and shoulders lift as you crunch. Perhaps you notice your shoulder blades lifting off the mat as you look up to the knees. 20 seconds to go. Remember that micro pause at the top. Lower gently, lift and pause. Lower gently. Awesome. 10 seconds to go. Forearm plank next, with an added variation if you want a little bit more fire. Nearly there, three, two, one. So, forearm plank. The option this time is to rock forwards and backwards on your toes, or you can stay static. Both are awesome. Here we go, forearm plank, so if you're rocking, push forward, push back. Forward and backwards. So a little bit more challenge, specifically for the muscles around the shoulders, as they control the transfer of your weight forwards and backwards. If you're holding your plank, as before, push your elbows into the ground, lift the chest, draw your tailbone down towards your heels. In both versions, zip up your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your knees together, with or without movement. Good, well done, 15 seconds to go. Yes, squeeze, push, gentle rock or hold. Nearly there, just over five seconds now. Forwards and backwards, yep, three, two, one, perfect. Hop yourself up for your jump jack, single arms, single legs, or both together, quick shake off. And three, two, one, here we go, <laughs> 45 seconds. So we always break up a little bit of cardio in the middle, one to get the heart rate higher after some slower static exercises, just because we don't want you to get bored or cold. So we're definitely making sure that we maintain movement. 30 seconds to go. Single arm, single leg looks like this. You step away and reach, or you're doing both together. Yes, nice, halfway. Now hold them tight with the core, draw the belly button in. Land lightly on those toes. Bend into your ankles, bend into your knees a fraction. 10 seconds to go. Let's get these last few ones done. Last round of jump jacks with me today. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect.
Shake it off, come to your tabletop position, all fours. Right leg first for your donkey kicks. Flex the foot, bend the knee, and kick full range all the way up, all the way down to start with. Bringing the knees in line, then lifting the heel high. Belly button in and up, lower back firm and flat, pushing away from the ground to lift the shoulders. Good, now top half pulse. Next time you lift, stay in the top range, up and up, good. So it's smaller, a little bit more intense. You might notice the back of the thigh as well as the back of the hip working. And in 10 seconds time, we're gonna lift and hold up in that top range. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Turn your big toe in towards the middle. Bring your knee into the midline. Hold a little higher. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, reach forward, child's pose. Take the pressure out of your wrists. Big breath in, back to your tabletop. And it's the left leg's turn. Flex the foot, bend the knee, full range up and down. Lift and lower, good, nice. So the knee just brushes the mat, bring them alongside each other before you kick the heel up. Big range, three seconds, top half, here we go. Next time you lift, stay high. Up and down, little pulse, feeling a bit more activation, checking in with the lower back, firm and flat as the heel kicks. And in five seconds, we're gonna hold it high, stay there. Three, two, one, up and hold. Big toe in towards the middle, knee tight to the midline. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> you can thank me later. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, well done. Time to breathe, drink, and wipe your faces. Lock one out the way. So. Our next exercise is a bear crawl. You come into a tabletop hover and you walk your hands and feet left to right, just a few paces either side. If that feels too much for your wrist, do a tabletop hover on its own or even a forearm plank hover. Otherwise, come to your tabletop. When the bell goes, we've got 10 seconds. So you're gonna hover and then just step as much as your balance allows, side to side to side. But I wanna see the knees low to the ground. Don't let the hips come up. Low, low, low. Three, two, one, here we go. So keep the knees, look at them. They are just an inch or two off the mat. When you start to come higher, you lose the intensity in the thighs. So low if you can. Low, low, low. See from the side, my hips and my shoulders are pretty much in line. Walk left to right just a couple of paces before you change. Good. Nice, we're coming up to halfway. Maybe you don't walk left to right. Maybe you walk around your room if you have space. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. By now, you should feel the thighs start to load. And the glutes. 10 seconds left. Just a few paces. Keep the knees low if you can. Side to side. Good news is we lie on our back. In three, two, and one. Onto your back. Bend your knees. Have your palms wider than your mat. We're gonna rotate the hips and the knees left to right. Let the hips roll. Keep the shoulders flat and use the strength in your waist muscles to draw your knees up from their lowered position. Left to right, left to right. If you want a bit more, take your top leg and extend it, then bend both, top leg extends. Bend both, extend. Halfway now, good, nice. Use the range that you have at your hips. Enjoy the twist, but try and keep your shoulders glued to the mat. When your shoulders start to lift, the range might be a bit too much for the legs, so reduce it, come back to the strength in your waist muscles. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, well done. Now we're onto our tummies. You're gonna keep your legs glued onto the mat, fingertips to your temples, and you're gonna lift, hover the chest off the mat and lower for 45 seconds. Lift and lower. Look straight down at your mat, so you don't end up craning your head and neck at the same time. Zip your inner thighs together, tighten up your glutes, pull your hips into the mat, use the strength in your back to lift and lower. Good, let's take a look. Well done, small little movements, up and down, up and down. 20 seconds to go, that means we're over halfway. So we create a little arching in the back, a tiny stretch for the front of the body, but you're using back strength. Lift and lower, light fingertips on your temples. Just over five seconds to go. 
and then we roll onto our back again, a little bit more core work. Three, two, one. Perfect. Flip it round. Bring your knees into a tabletop position and we've got bicycle crunch. So as you extend one leg, you bring your elbow to your knee, bring them both to tabletop and swap. So one leg extends, that elbow comes to your opposite knee, so that our shoulders lift and lower, but rotate at the same time. Good. So try and keep your lower back again on the mat, and if that means kicking your extended leg a little higher, do that. If it's comfortable to come lower, awesome. Just check in, lower back stays grounded. Halfway, 20 seconds to go. Elbow to knee, opposite forearm or upper arm rest on the mat to allow you to rotate. 10 seconds to go. Looking good, looking strong. So close. Five seconds now. And three, two, one. Perfect, hands behind the knees, roll yourself up. To standing. Okay, so working with the right leg initially, we're going to take a single squat, right knee lifts to the elbow. Single squat, right knee to elbow. Let's go. Squat, high knee. Squat, high knee. And if you want to challenge, keep your elbows higher so that your knee has further to go. Lift, land back into your squat. Lift, good, nice. And the shoulders are just moving up and down rather than leaning forward. Perfect, halfway. One squat, one high knee. Can you guess what's going to come next? Yeah, one squat, one high knee on the left side. Squat and lift, up. Good. Sit down deep into your squat if that feels comfortable. Knees follow the line of your toes. If your toes are turning out, let your knees follow. Three, two, one. Super quick shake off, especially with the hips. Do a little funky dance. Find your squat position again. So this time, one squat, left knee to opposite elbow. Let's go. Squat, left side. Squat, left side. Perfect. Try and keep those elbows high. Squat down deep, pull up high. Good. Chest up. So you bring your chest towards your hands, which are hovering just in front of your body. Deep squat, high knee. Perfect. Knees following your toes as you squat. So again, if your toes are turning out, let your knees turn out. You're over halfway. Mm, good workout for the glutes and legs. Just over 10 seconds now, and then we take a longer breather. Lift that knee high. Good. Five seconds to go. Let's get in a couple more rounds. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Shake it off. Move it around. Roll out your shoulders. Have a drink. Wipe your faces. So, that's halfway through our whole block of exercises. So we're gonna do round two once more, and then two rounds of block three. Mm -hmm. So our first exercise again is our bear crawl. This time, if you want something different, crawl forwards and backwards rather than side to side. Side to side works, but if you want something different, try forwards and backwards. Also, remember the knees stay low. Try not to let the hips come up too high, so they just brush the ground. You've got tabletop hover or plank hold as alternatives. Ready? Let's go, forwards. Walk, walk, walk. Use the space you have, and then walk it backwards. Feel how interesting that is when you change direction. Stay low, stay low. Check out your knees. They are just off the mat. So if they start to come up higher, see if you can deepen the bend, hips and knees. Walking forwards, walking backwards. Good, halfway. So as an alternative, tabletop hover. You just hold here. Or if the wrists are having a little bit of a hard time, come into a forearm plank hover. Otherwise, 10 seconds. Let's get a few more laps. Forwards and backwards. Up, up, up. Good. Nice. Three, and two, and one. Lie on your mats. So we're using our legs as our levers, either with bent knees, rocking side to side, or extend your top leg as you come over and alternate. Let's go. As another option, you can keep both legs straight, but remember, shoulders grounded. Let the hips rotate, but use the muscles in your waist to keep your shoulders anchored to the mat. So you've got plenty of versions to be able to work through to make this your own. You've got to twist through the torso, hands just wider than your mat to help with stability. Straight arms, pushing your hands into the ground, letting the hips rotate, using the muscles in the waist. 
Coming back through a tabletop in the middle. Last few seconds to go. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it round onto your tummies. We've got our dorsal raises using the muscles in the back. So zip up, inner thighs tight. Fingertips by your temples. Use the muscles in your back to lift and lower. Up and down. So it's not a big movement. I'd rather you slow it down. Give your muscles time to work, to lift you and gently lower. And if you can, lower to a point where just your mid chest comes to the mat before you lift up again, rather than letting the whole chest drop down. Lift and lower. If this is too intense, hands on the mat and you're gently gonna push up and lower, keeping the elbows wide, but light pressure on your hands. Still try and let your back do the work. Lift and lower, 10 seconds to go. Don't forget to breathe. Good, well done. Get it closer. Three and two and one, well done. Bicycle crunches as we flip around onto our back. Knees into a tabletop position. Fingertips to temples and as you extend one leg, you bring the opposite elbow to the knee. Come back through the middle, crunch. So again, a rotation, a bit more focus on twisting side to side in this block. Looking in the direction of the knee, up and over, squeeze, keep the head off the ground if you can, and the elbows wide, so they don't sneak forwards to cheat the distance towards your knee. Halfway, looking good. Two more exercises to go. Squats with a high knee. And I'll give you another option to consider with this one. 10 seconds left of your crunches. Come on, abs. Tighten up, lift. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the knees, rock yourself up to standing. So last time when we squatted, we brought the knee to the opposite elbow. This time is an option, you can keep the knee high and wide to the side. Left, uh, right side first, up we go. So high knee to the side, lift. Or like we did in round one, bring it across. Your choice, knee high, uses a bit more of your glutes, knee across, uses a bit more of your waist. Up and down. Maybe you alternate one of each, there's a nice option for you. One high and wide, one high and across. Give me a nice deep squat in the middle, lift, sit back, lift. Perfect, 15 seconds to go. Yeah, this is nice. Getting closer. We just got the left side to do. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, and one. Quickly shake it off, especially the muscles around the hips. Funky dance, wriggle it out. So left side. Remember you can come high and wide, high and across, or one of each. Last time, squat, lift, squat, and lift. Your choice. Mix it up if you need to. Whatever feels good, yet challenging for you. Remember the elbows are high. Bring your knee to your elbow, rather than sneaking the elbow towards your knee. Yeah, I know. It's easier to do it that way. Coming up to halfway. Let's get a decent squat, and then a decent high knee in between. Good, lovely. Closer now. Even closer. 10 seconds to go. And get a few more rounds in. Squat high knee. Running out of time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off, well done. Muscles around the hips, wriggle them off, dance it out, shake. Breathe, drink, and we start block three on our mats for the tricep muscles, the back of the arms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you hear the bell, we're gonna be sitting on our bums, having our hands behind us, fingertips pointing to your hips, knees bent, and then 10 seconds, we'll just drop back into the arms, push your weight straight, all right? So, Lower lightly, and as you push your heels into the mat, tighten up the back of the arms and lift the chest. Three, two, one. Dip, extend and lift. Dip, extend and lift. So the triceps are responsible for straightening your arms. Squeeze your elbows together if that's comfortable for the shoulders. Lift and push away. Use the back of the arms to lift your body weight up. If you need a bit more, shuffle your hips further away from your hands so you deepen the lean. Adjust your hand position as much as your shoulders feel comfortable. 
but straighten and squeeze. Let the arm strength take your body upright. Good, nice, well done. 10 seconds to go, lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. You might not feel it straight away, but after a while, it'll kick in. Five seconds, then we stand up. Three, two, one. Pop yourself up. All right, testing your coordination. I'm focusing on the arms. We're gonna bring one to the center of the chest and the other to the side, keeping them at shoulder height. And if your coordination allows, march at the same time. So with the arms elevated throughout, shoulders are gonna be working. Your bicep muscles are responsible for bending your arm. So as you bring it in towards your chest, squeeze the thumb in towards your sternum, biceps working, and as your arms straighten, triceps working again. 23 seconds to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. Now try not to fling the arms. We're doing this really deliberately, like majorettes. Move, move. Quick movement, pause. Yes. 10 seconds to go. So you'll feel the shoulders start to kick in where the arms are elevated. Nearly there, nearly there. Lift and squeeze. You got three, and two, and one. Shake it off. Well done. We're staying standing for this next one. If you need something to hold on to, have a little bit of extra balance and support. Take your weight over your right leg, kick your left leg behind you, and then you're just going to gently tap the toe and extend. Ready when you are. 45 seconds. Now, like we did with the donkey kick, I'd like as little movement from the lower back as possible and a lift through the back of the leg. Quads will be working where your leg is straight, but your glutes are responsible for the movement. So if the lower back starts to ache, take a little lean forward, suck the belly button in, so you take some of the arch out of your back, but you're working the movement here from the leg. Lift and lower. If it's comfortable to stay upright, that's fine. Note that the movement might be a little smaller, but stay strong in the middle. Shoulders forward, hips forward, lifting the heel up behind you. Three, and two, and one. Perfect, shake that leg out. Swap sides, quite simply, it's just the other leg. So now you might start to feel a bit of tension in the lower back. Remember, lean forward if you need to. Opposite leg, lift. Toe brushes the ground. Tap it down more deliberately if you need to. Extra balance and support, that's okay but if you can, just tap it before you lift. And you feel again, maybe this one kicks in a little quicker because it was your base leg last time, so it was already working. Hold tight, front and back, so maybe even you place your hands on your lower back and your torso to feel that movement minimize. Lean forward if that helps to take the arch out of the lower back, squeeze the belly button in, you will be able to lift a little higher, but make sure that you don't then end up exaggerating the lower back movement. Good, nice. Five seconds to go, lift, lower, lift, lower. Three, and two, and one, awesome. Come down to your mat. Now we're gonna do a reverse tabletop. Fingertips towards your uh, hips like we did in the tricep dips. Knees bent, feet hip distance apart. We lift and lower. You can tap the hips down or brush them off the mat. Lift and lower. When you get comfortable with the movement, as you lift your hips, look up, Extend the neck, and then drop back down. Lift, bring it back down. Good. Up and back. Excellent. So using legs, glutes, shoulders, and core muscles. Really nice. You're over halfway. Lift, squeeze, lower down. Reverse tabletop. Lifting the chin as the hips rise. 10 seconds to go. Up and back. And up and back. Perfect. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Roll onto your tummies, last exercise. Make a pillow for your head with your hands. Relax your upper body entirely. Point your toes, hover the tops of the feet and flutter kick. Small movement, so the legs stay straight. The movement comes from your hips, not your knees. Your knees are extended. Toes pointed, if that helps. Keep the legs close together, flutter kick. Mm. Hello hamstrings. You're definitely feeling them with this one. Rest the upper body, take any tension out of the back, the shoulders, the head, the neck. Halfway, rest the feet down if you need to. Come back as soon as you're ready, less than 20 seconds to go. Long straight legs, quick movement, flutter kick, like you're swimming your way across the pool. Go, 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 10 seconds. <laughs> Feels like fire on the back of my legs. Five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Rock the hips side to side too if you need. Have a drink. 
After your breath, wipe your face. All right, so far, so good. We have got one more round to go. And then we're done, we can cool down, stretch out, and relax. Grab yourself a sip of water. When you're ready, we're sitting down with the hands behind us for our tricep lean back, tricep dips. So remember this exercise comes from straightening your arm, using those little muscles the back of the arm. That's your 10 second warning. Place your hands behind your hips, knees bent, chest lifted. Three, two, and dip. Bend the elbows, lift the chest, squeeze your arms straight. Bend, lift, bend, and lift. Perfect, nice. Try and keep the elbows closed tight together if you can. Watch out for them drifting wide because you'll take more movement in your back and shoulders rather than the triceps and that's where we want to focus it. Little dip, little lift and squeeze. Halfway through, sit up as tall as you can, allow the arms time to straighten and lift the chest. Push into the heel of your hands to get the arms nice and straight. Lovely, good. Lift, squeeze, come back down. Lift, squeeze, Come back down, perfect. You're getting closer, you're getting closer. And three, two, one, stand up. So we're using the arms, but marching if your coordination allows. Bring your hand to the center of your chest, push the other one away, and swap, staying shoulder height. Here we go, with or without the legs. So deliberate movement. Transitions from one position to the other is quick, but we squeeze and hold. Imagine that you're bringing your arms flat against a wall. Squeeze, 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 yes. So you're not fleeing them wildly behind you. They stop in line with the shoulders. Good, nice. If you need more, march and march higher. Pick up those knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Zip up tight, draw the belly button in, lift the chest, keep marching. 10 seconds. Strong arms, strong arms. Yeah, they're kicking in now, I know. Take it side to side. You got three. Two, one, shake it off. Perfect, standing leg extensions for the muscles and the glutes. So let's start the opposite way around this time. Take the weight over your left leg, right leg behind you, hands on hips or holding firmly in the middle, and we kick back, lift, tap the toe, lift. Now your standing leg has a little bit of softness, so try not to press back on the knee joint. Keep a little bend, but both legs are straight, and you're just elevating the one that's behind, up and behind you. Now if you flex your foot, kick the heel back, keep your toes close to your midline. If you point the toe, it's the same thing. You lift with the heel and your big toe stays close to the middle. If the lower back is starting to suffer, take a little lean forward. Remember, squeeze front to back. It'll give you a little bit more range with the leg, but take the arch out of the lower back. 10 seconds to go. Looking good, well done. Kick back, squeeze, kick back. Yes, three, two, one. Shake it off. Have a little wriggle and then we swap it around. So your opposite leg is now your base leg. Soften the knee, take the other one behind you. Hands on the hips or here front to back and kick back, lift. Up and back, up and back, good. So if you're holding on to just yourself, <laughs> hands on the hips or front to back, you'd be working on balance a little bit as well, which is always helpful. You've got strength in your standing leg, fire in your moving leg, especially in the glutes. So the glutes squeeze to lift. Squeeze to lift, good, halfway. Remember leaning forward if you need to, flatten the lower back in case there's any tension there, otherwise stand up tall, but try not to let the lower back move. Smaller movement from the hips. Yeah, lovely. 10 seconds now, lift, squeeze, getting closer. Stand tall if you're upright, even taller. You got three, whoops, two, and one. Well done, shake it off. Perfect, all right, reverse tabletop, second to last exercise. Bend your knees, heels hip distance apart, hands behind your hips, planting the heels into the mat and lift, lower down, lift, lower down, good, nice. Now think about lifting the chest as well as the hips, widening the tips between your shoulders, lifting the chin as your hips rise up and brushing the hips just off the mat as you lower. Good, coming up to halfway. Take a break if you need to, I know this can be a little bit strong on the shoulders and the arms. Lift, and you can come back and rejoin when you're ready. Otherwise, just over 10 seconds to go. Stay strong, stay strong. One more exercise remains. Sending a blowtorch to the back of the legs for our flutter kicks. In five, four, three, two, 
and one. Flip it around, lie on your tummies. Relax as much of the upper body as you can. Make a pillow for the head with your hands. Chest, head down, long straight legs, flutter kick. Small movement. Zip up the inner thighs, engage your glutes, point your toes, calves are then engaged. Long straight legs, kick, kick, kick. Don't forget to breathe. 30 seconds to go. Feeling the heat through the back of the legs round about now. Pause if you need to, keep going if you can. We are halfway. Let's go, last exercise, let's make it count. Kick, 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 kick. Race across the pool. Don't let the shark snip your toes. Just over 10 seconds to go. Kick, 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 here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take a big breath. If you wanna round your back, find a child's pose, sink your hips back, drop your chest down, take a breath. And then lift through the back first, let your head lower, let your arms hang loose, roll yourself up through a tabletop, tuck your toes, bend your knees, lift through the back again, roll yourself up to standing, hanging long loose arms, unravel, and stand, well done. So we're just gonna to come to a nice, gentle march. Here, let the arms hang loose by your sides, feet underneath your hips, gently picking up the knees, limit the effort with this one, we're just marching. And as we march, let's take a shoulder roll forward. So both shoulders up, back and forward. You can make circles with your elbows as well if it helps to guide your movement. After three, roll it back. Feel yourself grow a little taller as you lift your chest. Taking in big breaths. Lovely. And relax. Come to a standing position. We're going to stretch the muscles in the chest by taking the arms behind you, interlacing the fingers, long arms, lift the chest, lift the chin, roll your shoulders back. Stay firm in the middle so that your balance isn't compromised, keep a little softness in the knees. Big breath in, big breath out. Then take your arms in front of you like you're hugging a beach ball. You can interlace your knuckles, either press them forward or keep the elbows wide, chin to chest. Feel the gap between your shoulder blades widen as you send your knuckles ahead of you. Again, soften the knees, maybe you scoop the tailbone underneath so that you are not end up arching or rounding into it. Stay nice and firm. Good, awesome. Take your arms into 90 degree bend, cactus arms. Send them wide as you bring your chest forward. Keep a little softness in the knees again. Then straighten your arms with your thumbs up, press them back. Keep your arms straight, thumbs down, push them a little bit further behind you, the arms may lower. You're just stretching into the biceps a little bit, and relax. Take a tricep stretch, up and over the elbow stays high. Support your stretch from above, or if you need to, from below. Or if you're really bendy, you can get my fingers together from behind. So triceps, back of the arms, they've had a lot of work today, working when your arms are being straightened. Swap sides, roll it around, high elbow, support your stretch. Pushing from below, reaching from above. <sighs> Lovely, give the arms a little shake off here. If you need something to hold here for balance, go and grab it, otherwise you're gonna pick up one foot, bring it towards your hips, knees together, hips forward, standing legs soft. And by pushing the hips forward, you'll be stretching the muscles in the front of the thigh. And they were working through all of our squats, any lunges, jump jacks, any time where you were straightening your leg, your quads were working. Fantastic, swap it around, change legs, heel to hips, knees together, hips forward, standing legs soft. Hopefully by now you're noticing the breathing is starting to calm, the heart rate starting to settle. Any muscles that you feel are tight over the next day or two, come back to these stretches, repeat them, or try and keep a nice gentle movement as well. This leg that you have now, you're gonna step it in front of you, Bend in the back leg, tilt your hips up towards the ceiling. We should have a stretch in the hamstring, the front of the straight leg. You can tilt your toe up or keep it on the ground, that's okay. It's really the back of the legs and the hips that I'm worried about. Lowering the chest if that feels good. Taking in a big breath. Fantastic. Swap it round when you're ready. So step the other leg in front of you. Hips back, bend this knee. Lifting the toes or keeping the foot on the ground, but it's the hips tilting towards the ceiling stretching into the back of the leg. Good. 
like a lovely well done we'll take a glute stretch really quick to finish again if you need something to hold on to for balance but you're going to take an ankle across the knee that knee wide and then sit the hips down so we're stretching here that's it if you need a bit more sit deeper hips and chest knee down breathe Awesome stuff, swap it around, knee supports your ankle, that knee goes wide, sit down, stretching the muscles around the hips. Good, 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 lovely. Activity complete. When you're done with that, step your feet a little wider than hip distance, bend the knees, sweep your fingertips down, breathe out, breathe in, reach up, and again, breathe out, down we go. And in reach up. Bring your hands together, give yourself a round of applause. Well done, thank you so much for your company, your efforts and your energy. Please make sure that you have lots to drink for the rest of the day, stay hydrated. This video will be saved to YouTube, so if you want to repeat that at any point, you can, you're welcome to. There'll be a slightly different sequence for next week to keep it fresh. Well done, thank you so much, have a great day.